Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Sandro. I'm the CTO and founder of Thermovolt. Uh, we are a startup affiliated to the KU Leuven University in Belgium and UC Berkeley in California. And our mission is to operate the largest decentralized storage system in the world. Uh, let me get back to that one uh, later on. Um, I'd like to begin by addressing the problem we are facing. So, as you all know, um, our electricity system is all about keeping the balance at every moment in time between what is being put into the system, the production, and what is taken out of the system, the consumption. Now, over the past decade, we've seen a massive increase of renewables like wind and solar, um, which only generate when the wind blows and the sun shines. Now, this is the first time in over 150 years that we are no longer in full control of the generation side. And this is pressurizing uh, all stakeholders in the energy system. That can also be seen in this article from The Guardian, um, where Angela Merkel is basically saying, we schaffen es nicht. So here she is pleading to put the brake on the growth of renewables, since the prices are increasing uh, too much. That can also be seen in these charts. So these charts, they show that as more and more renewables are integrated into the uh, electricity system, the cost of maintaining this delicate balance increases. Uh, we're speaking about a 1.47 billion euro annual market. This cost needs to be reflected somewhere, and that's oftentimes end users. So over the same time period, 2008 till 2016, uh, the average EU27 residential electricity tariff has increased by 33%. It's quite a lot, and if we look where this um, energy consumption goes to, it's mainly to space heating, water heating, and space cooling. Now, we at Thermovault, we address this pain point from the end consumer, and by doing so, we gain access to this ever-increasing balancing market. So, we have done this by de developing an all-in retrofit solution for space heaters and water heaters. Um, there are more than 100 million of these electric space and water heaters currently in use in households across Europe. And after installing our control modules, the hardware modules, um, we start doing two things. So first, we do uh, energy savings. Um, there is this emissions test for electric water heaters called uh, EcoDesign. And according to that test, we have shown, we have certified that we achieve uh, 12 to 28 percent of savings on the electricity consumption. We do this by using machine learning which learns uh, appliance heating rates, cooling rates, uh, radiation losses, and hot water consumption profiles. And we do this without impacting the end user comfort. Um, this is something that the customer understands, wants, and gets us into the households. Secondly, we transform those appliances into a storage device. When I mention storage, most people think about a Tesla Powerwall. Well, we have shown that we can unlock multiple Tesla Powerwall 2s in one single household. And from a balancing perspective to a system operator, this is the perfect equivalent. So now in Belgium, we control more than 400 appliances. We have 22% real-life energy savings. And we control more than one megawatt of storage, very cost-effective storage. So um, these are some of the features that we believe that makes us unique. So we leverage on state-of-the-art research from KU Leuven and UC Berkeley. And we make a unique combination of energy savings and providing um, uh, highly profitable ancillary services to the TSO. Secondly, it's an all-in solution, works on any water heater, any space heater, um, and also since recently on many heat pump models. And finally, it is, we believe, one of the most cost-effective uh, storage solutions. Uh, the team consists of um, these four energy engineers with experience in academia, professional, and uh, in sales. We also have many interns, um, consultants, and we're hiring fast. Uh, we are also very grateful for the support from uh, my former professors from KU Leuven and UC Berkeley. Um, currently, um, we're working on these tracks. So, um, commercially, downstream, we want to sell into as many households as possible. So, for the last year, we've been working really hard to get strategic B2B uh, partnerships. Uh, these are scheduled for deployment later this year. Simultaneously, upstream, um, we have an agreement with an industry-leading aggregator to valorize our flexibility. 
Thirdly, um, in parallel to these commercial tracks, um, we're also active in multiple Belgian and European H2020 projects, where we will be deploying in four countries in Europe later this year. And then finally, uh, we, ha we have been bootstrapping along, but we believe it's time now to start the fundraising round. So we hope to close a 1.5 million round uh, later this year. If you see a strategic fit in any of these um, tracks, please um, don't hesitate to get in touch later. Thank you.